We held the greatest title in the whole world, babe. You lost that fight, Rock, for all the wrong reasons. You lost your edge. Now, when we fought, you had that eye of the tiger, man, the edge. And now you've got to get it back. And the way to get it back is to go back to the beginning. You know what I mean? <laughs> Maybe we could win it back together. Eye of the tiger, man. Whether it's LeBron James winning our city's first NBA ring, or the Cleveland Browns celebrating a victory in their first NFL game, the city of Cleveland will never be the same. And there are two names that have also been a catalyst for change, and as accomplished and beloved as any father and son duo can be, well, that's what Coach Ted Ginn Sr. and NFL wide receiver Ted Ginn Jr. have been to the city, now known as the CLE. Awards, they've won them all. Whether it was Ted Jr. juking a DB, making them freeze and fall, or Ted Sr. getting on his offensive lineman to get a little leaner or get a bit meaner. Football has been their life. So for the keeping your eyes on the prize a bird's eye view of what our youth can do to become Cleveland professionals, we knew that it was only right. We had to follow a story that only God could have scripted about a father and son bound by blood who took a failing football program and flipped it. It features the wisdom of a great coach. I take the wisdom and the, and the, and the things that I got from a child, from older people, and I put it together and I understand it. Combined with the athletic talents of a player dubbed the best Flash Gordon in the flesh. Now Ted Jr. convinced four of his friends to join in and the vision to put the Glenville Tar Blooders football team on the map began. And thanks to the visions of the Gins turned reality, more than a dozen players have been in the NFL making a great salary. So without further ado, we are Unique Television on behalf of keeping your eyes on the prize of bird's eye view of what our youth can do is so pleased to bring to you none other than the interview. <laughs>